Hello? Hi there. Hi, hi, Dad. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not bad. How, are you enjoying your time in Germany? Is it different from London? Compared to other leagues in the world, so, uh, and, and I'm only 21 years old, so it's a very good good place to develop, develop as a football player. Did your time in Nuremberg help you settle in at Gladbach? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, I've got 20 games in, in Nuremberg and it helps me to, to get... Uh, know the the Bundesliga better than uh, than go straight into it in uh, from the uh, Borussia. What what do you put Gladbach's success this season down to? Pardon, what did you say? Uh, what what do you put Gladbach's success this season down to? Uh, this year? Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say. It's uh, uh, of course for me and, and the team. It's uh, uh, it's a very good situation as, as it is now and. Uh, it's been been a while since we we won a title in uh, or Borussia won a title, so it's of course it's it would be fantastic if we if we made it. But I think we need to to take game by game, and it's quite early in the season as well. It's we have uh, two games left, and then we are half halfway through it, and uh, we just need to take game by game, and then uh, I think we we have a chance to be be by the top teams. Was it a bit nerve-wracking at the start, at the end of the season there, when you had to go to the last game against Hamburg to, to stay up? Yeah, it was uh, uh, quite difficult for for the whole team, but uh, we we was mentally strong and we was uh, we had a very good atmosphere in the club and the team, um, and we we finally made it. It was our mission impossible, but uh, we we went home and uh, we won against. Uh, Bochum at home one 0 and then we we made one one at away game so so we we made it so it was a fantastic feeling after six very hard months. Is, is is there a feeling within the squad that you can actually go on and win the league this season? Oh, it's hard to say, but of course we we need to believe in ourselves and uh, I think we have a good squad, good enough squad to to make it. And if you don't believe, it's uh, why are you? Playing if you don't believe so, so you always mean always wanted to believe that you can reach as high as you can. So uh, on the top of the league, it's uh, not impossible. Marco Royce has been fantastic this season, and there's been a lot of rumours linking him with clubs in England. Do you think that he could fit in at somewhere like Arsenal? Yeah, it's, I heard that uh, Arsenal was uh, was interested in him, and uh, they're watching. Uh, uh, other players in the same position as Marco plays, but uh, I think the best is for Marco now is just to, to take uh, play his game here in Borussia, and then uh, the, the clubs will be more and more interested. And um, I can understand the interest from England because he's a fantastic player. He scored a lot of goals, and uh, yeah, he's, he showed that he's a he's a top player. And uh, it's many clubs around the world that want him, not just in England. How, how important is he going to be in the second half of the season? No, it's uh, in, in both we need everyone, play, uh, every every player in the in the squad, and uh, I think if if he if he stays, he just needs to have the mentality in the right position, and uh, uh, he will just continue as he as he has already. So uh, I think uh, he's been, he must be. Oh, he's a very important player for us, and uh, uh, I think he knows it as well. Have you enjoyed playing in midfield under Lucien Favre? Yeah, um, he's a very good coach. Uh, he's, he reminds me about uh, Arsenal a little bit in comparing to to the the way to play, and uh, it's, we always have a plan for uh, for what we can do to to win against the other teams, to to get to find the rooms we can play in, and so and. Uh, uh, I enjoy to, to play under him. It's uh, we play good, very nice football. Um, how have you settled in central midfield rather than playing in defence like you did um, Arsenal? Compared to to this one? Yeah. Uh, in Arsenal, I didn't actually play so much uh, for the big crowd as in, in the, for the first team, but. Uh, um, but compared to, to to Germany, I think uh, the German supporters are more more 90 minutes. In in England, it's a little bit uh, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to say. But for for me, I didn't uh, I didn't actually play so many <laughs> Premier League games, so I can't actually say it. But uh, the the fans here in Borussia it is is fantastic. You, you can you can have them in 90 minutes. All 
every game. They, if you are under foot with one nil, two nil, they, it doesn't matter. They just keep going and support you. And they showed, they showed especially last year when we were in the last position with ten points after after the seventeen games. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's they have a good good thing for us. Is that why you left Arsenal to to play more first team games, bigger crowds, that sort of thing? Yeah, it's uh, it's very important for young players to to play on the highest level as possible, and uh, I think uh, of course I could stay in Arsenal and play reserve games. It's, but I think uh, it, it's better for my de- develop as a football player to play as high as highest game as possible. And in in Germany, you have every weekend you have very pressure on yourself, and especially now where uh, when you are in the top of the league, you need to win. And if you lose one game, you straight six points behind to to the top of the league. Again, so you need to be host every weekend, and uh, that's make you better football player. Is the dream scenario for you to, to play Arsenal in the Champions League next season? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, that would be a dream come true. If, uh, especially uh, it's Champions League, but if it's against Arsenal, it's it would be great. But uh, first of all, we need to get through the season and then stay on the left top of the league. Are you disappointed that Norway didn't qualify for the European Championships? Yeah, absolutely. I would. Uh, it would be great to, to play there in uh, in the Ukraine and Poland, but uh, that's the past. We can't with it. We are out, and uh, we have uh, it's many other chances that will come in the future, and hopefully I will be be a part of that as well. So, uh, but that's that's football. You you win and lose. Do you take confidence from the likes of Denmark and Sweden who have qualified as well? Pardon? Do you take confidence from the likes of Denmark and Sweden who have qualified to the Euro 2012? No, it's, I think this year they, uh, they were better than us and uh, of course in qualified starts we, we need to support them as well. We are Scandinavian everyone and uh, we need to stay, stay a little bit together when it's, uh, it's about Europe. So uh, I hope they will make, make a good few games in, in, uh, in the in the end games. Do you keep in touch with uh, Per Skelbred at Hamburg? No, I don't have uh, actually much contact with him. Um, I never actually know him and uh, he played for the national team but he never been there when I was there so uh, not that much. Okay, Harvard, thanks for your time. I know, I know you're very busy so I'll let you get off back to training. Okay. Thank you.